Hello and welcome to another tutorial of ZW3D. Today we'll be showing you how to use the thread tool and flag extend thread tool. But please keep in mind that the thread tool is only used for the physical threading. So you need to make the profile yourself and the page whilst the turns. On the other hand, the flag extend thread tool is the black and white version and can only be used on the external faces of parts. With that in mind, let's get straight to the application, shall we? Here, as you can see, that I'm using the Joe Assembly case in CW Soft Library, and also as you can see that I'm I've marked these two blue since I'm going to be working on these two parts. Let's get straight into it. Right click the part and open part here so you can see it in a single file part. Now, let's start with the threading feature. Thread feature. I select a face, a profile which is the sketch that I made in advance. The shape, you can choose it whatever you want. A triangle, for now I'm using the trapezoid. Oh, and if you want to make a base or an add out of it, please keep in mind that it needs to be as close as possible to the parts. While on the remove, it needs to intersect with another. Here, as you can see that I can adjust the turns to my heart's content, or also the distance of the pitch here. Well, in the settings, you can revolve it clockwise or anti-clockwise. Counterclockwise, sorry. In a reverse spiral direction or not. Lead in and out, you can select it too. With also the settings on the radius, you can start it at both ends also. And for the tolerance, you can adjust it as much as you want it. Now, let's just click OK if you're done with it. And there you have it. I got revolve. If you want to edit it again, just go to the history manager and Double click it. And now you can just edit it and boom. It's done. Now, since this is an assembly, you can just exit it and it will automatically save it in the file that is used to be. Now, you can just open it in the assembly mode which is a top-down mode, just right-click the part here sorry, not right-click, double-click it and you can see that I'm in the top-down view of ZW3D here I also made the sketch in advance also the shape of trapezoid let's use the thread feature make the faces inside also, the profile is going to be on the inside here. The face is not particularly needed. The important stuff is in where you put the sketch here, the shape. So please keep that in mind. Same as before, leading out, both ends, or none, if you want it, and just check it. And there you have it, perfectly threaded hole. For the flag extend thread, you can just select the down arrow button, and the flag extend thread is here. This is the black and white version. The faces, you can select multiple faces, but I prefer we use the middle one for now. You can unpick last or unpick all and select it your own again. For the thread specifications, there are many types here. For now, I'm going to use metric with a size of 
maybe 22 times 1.5 and you can see that here that is covered here the length type you can also adjust it to your heart's desire the default one times the diameters or 2.5 times the diameters or just full or maybe you can just custom it for your whatever you like now let's do a full with an end chamfer I don't think you can see it but you can set a setback on it with how many millimeters you want and the angle okay now you can use the custom on the metric here custom size you can adjust the diameter on how many sorry how big is your diameters or how big is the pitch really make it 2.5 or maybe 2 also the length type is I already described to you but if you went to the custom you can click the metric and inch so you have to use the specification first then go to the metric and inch here if you click it the type and size will change everything will change except the length until the end chamfer type here is the standard inch types and the size you can adjust it yourself with the costume or within the standards in Z in ZW3D you can just pick which one you wanted metric or inch right here for now I'm using metric with a costume size with diameter of 22 with a pitch of 2 and just click OK and there you have it but how do you make the thread inside really which is in black and white well it's not in the thread feature but it's in the whole feature which here in the third options there's a thread hole you can do select the location first if it's not the way you want it you can just the face and the direction of it Maybe my Z Y axis you can see it's going to the down right now let's get to the threading it's the same thing as the flag extend thread and you can just pick the whole specification here the whole shape if you want it simple then all of these will be threaded if you want a contable then only these these two downs will be threaded you can adjust the hole by going down a bit in the specification tab in the D2 you can enlarge it or small it make it small in D1 too this D1 is actually the thread where the thread will be the depth you can set it as blind until face or just through it all for now let's do it a blind and then adjust ourselves 40 also the thread has to be full if you want until here to here is full it's threaded sorry and then just click ok and as you can see the counter bar is not threaded whilst the hole that have made it 40 is threaded there right that's it for this video